Welcome back, guys. Uh, I'm, I have a, uh, well, I'm going to do another distro review. And the reason I'm doing this review is because I have a project that I'm working on uh, trying to get all of my old vinyl records converted to digital. And I've been wanting to do it for a while. I uh, had a few different turntables but over the years through lack of use and mishandling and uh, being stored away they don't function very well any longer so I did a little bit of research I wanted a uh, decent quality turntable that I could do my digital conversion but also use it as a good quality turntable to play my records and what I ended up with is a let's see it is a let me take a look okay so it's an Audio Technica LP120 and uh, it's a really nice uh, really nice uh, turntable and so I went and dug up all of the vinyl records that I had left and I've got vinyl dated dating back to the 60s uh, that I want to convert to digital now they have been sitting in milk crates for the last umpteen years uh, waiting for me to do something about it and um, so now I've dug them out uh, I brought the uh, three milk crates up into my computer slash music room and I, I'm gonna get started as a matter of fact I, I, I already got started on it um, but what I what I needed to do was uh, find out which distribution would best be used for that type of project. Now I know that if I use Audacity in any Linux distribution, I can I can uh, do the conversion. But uh, since Ubuntu just came out with a bunch of updated distributions, Ubuntu Studio happened to be one of them. And so I downloaded Ubuntu Studio. It's like 2.3 gigabytes. Uh, I downloaded Ubuntu Studio, burned it, installed it, and that's what you see here. Now, I modified it a little bit. I I took uh, I put the plank at the bottom, and uh, but other than that, I haven't done a whole lot to it. I. I've been basically going through it. I brought up Audacity. I started uh, learning Audacity because the vinyl records are going to have a lot of clicks and pops. And for those of you who remember the old vinyl records, you put the needle in the groove and uh, the first time you play it, it's probably perfect. But after that, after it gets handled a bunch of times, in and out of the sleeve, um, it develops pops and clicks and all kinds of noises that need to be removed or should be removed um, when converting to digital. So there are commercial applications on the market that can do that and I haven't tried any of them but most of them are for Mac and Windows. Um, for Linux, you, it's pretty much Audacity and learn how to do it manually within the Audacity application, which as I'm finding out, it isn't all that hard to do. So I've started that project and once I get into a little bit over the weekend, I should have it down to the pet point where I understand how to do the basic click and pop removal 
convert the um, vinyl to digital music, save them as either WAV files or MP3 files, and um, begin that long process. So I, I have hundreds and hundreds of vinyl records. And so, uh, and I'll, I'll show you a couple of examples. These are original from the 60s. And you know I'm a big Beatles fan. And of course, that, these are not the only, that's not the only group I have on vinyl, but um, Paul McCartney's first solo album, um, tremendous album. And you just don't get this kind of experience with CDs. Um, you know, in the old days, you'd be able to pick up the album and read through it and take a look at the inserts. There'd be all kinds of uh, uh, items inserted that you could uh, take a look at, all kinds of photographs on the inside inserts with the words and it was just a, be a better overall experience than what you get today when you buy a, a CD. But anyway, um, so that's the project that I'm working on right now and I will be uh, making another video over the weekend on how I'm using Audacity to clean up the vinyl recordings uh, prior to or after converting to digital so I'll be following up over the weekend with that but for this video uh, what we'll do is we'll take a walk through Ubuntu studio and see what it has to offer now just on my dock down below I've got parole media player Ristretto image viewer Kazam GUVC view terminal no Max, that's my go-to uh, image viewer. Uh, screenshot, Audacity, of course, Firefox. So a lot of these were already there. I've added the, um, th the applications that I needed uh, for this to make this video and to uh, and Audacity, Audacity was already there. But uh, take a look at what's included now they basically have three categories uh, audio video and graphics so if you look into uh, accessories you'll find a lot of the things that you find with any distribution application calculators uh, plan well plank I downloaded but a screenshot so they've got gedit um, that's a typical accessories uh, menu out of the box. In audio production, it's outstanding. They've got pretty much everything that you could ever ask for for audio production. Every uh, internet DJ console, drum sequencing, Yamaha DX7 modeling, uh, meter bridge, uh, they've got uh, amp simulators, all kinds of things. This is a guitar effects processor, so if you plug an electric guitar in and you you can pretty much make it sound, yeah see this requires jack so uh, there's evidently I don't have something that I need to utilize that. But there are all kinds of uh, audio uh, capabilities within Ubuntu Studio. And if you do a lot of audio work, this will pretty much have anything that you need to get your music or any type of audio processing done. Education, LibreOffice Math, that's what's normally listed uh, for education. Uh, and let's see, graphic design. This is where you get into GIMP, um, Darktable, Blender, Inkscape, Krita, MyPaint, Nomax I downloaded, a Rapid Photo Downloader, that's 
when you uh, connect your iPhone or your Android phone, uh, it will sync up with it and um, you can copy your photos back and forth. Um, so it's pretty much got everything that you need for graphics. Internet, this is the basics, uh, Firefox, Transmission, XChat. For media playback, Audacious, Parole, Zine, Video Player, and Zadio. Uh, that's another video player. For Office, there's LibreOffice, Document Viewer. Uh, system, it's got all the normal system utilities. Uh, there's nothing lacking there. So anything you can do with any distribution, you can do with this. Um, there's Ubuntu Studio information, so there's a forum and a chat and uh, a lot of ways that you can get help regarding Ubuntu Studio. And then of course video production. I downloaded GUVC View. Um, I think Kazam was there already. I downloaded OpenShot, uh, but the rest of this was there, and so you've got pretty much everything you need for video production. So Ubuntu, as usual, they put out a, a really tremendous product, and this one um, is basically full of uh, creative applications. And so you can go online, pull up the ubuntustudio.org website. You can take a look at all of the features. And uh, Ubuntu Studio is released every six months, but the long-term version is released only every two years. So this is the newest one, 1510. And uh, I'm, as I said, I'm going to keep it uh, and... Uh, do my vinyl conversion and I'm sure anything that I need uh, during that process will more than likely be included within Ubuntu Studio. So it's it's not for everyone. It's it's uh, you know it's it's weighted down with a lot of creative applications that the average Linux user may not need. But for someone who's involved with uh, graphics, music, video, uh, it's probably uh, going to handle anything that you can throw at it. So guys, uh, that's it for this video. Uh, I will be back over the weekend with another video. And as I said, I'm going to do a little bit of, I'm going to do a video on uh, using Audacity to convert your vinyl records to digital and clean up the pops and clicks so that the music is nice and clean in digital format. So I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you soon. Take care.